Hi everyone. All right, today I'm going to show you how I make uh, how I use this pre-printed peony wafer paper to make a wafer paper peony without having to vein it, without having to do very much other than kind of curl the edges. Now I am cutting this out with one of these little swivel knives, and you can get these in any craft store. I like these knives because they're very fast, and it doesn't tear the wafer paper if you're careful. You just have to be careful not to kind of twist the knife too much, but it's a lot faster than using scissors and you can give it kind of a ruffled edge on the edges of the petals. And it just, like I said, it's just a lot faster than using scissors. So that's how I cut out these petals and I'm cutting out the full two sheets to make one flower. Now there's four different, there's actually five different sizes and I'm using a one inch styrofoam ball that's covered with wafer paper on the outside. And I just took an extra sheet of wafer paper and kind of, you know, sprayed it with vodka and then crumpled it up around the, the ball with the wire on it. And the liquids that I'm going to use, I have vodka, I have glycerin and water, and this is the conditioner. And this is a one-to-one -one mixture of glycerin and water. It's very strong with the glycerin. So, it, you know, you have to kind of be careful with it, but um, it'll soften your petals a lot. And see, I put too much on the first one, so I just wiped some off on the second one. The first layer, I'm using kind of the medium-sized petals, and I'm just taking three of them to cover that very top part of the ball that's going to be showing, because that's the part that's going to kind of peek out, and you don't want to have that showing with the white. So I'm basically just creating a purple backdrop, more or less, for the, for the um, other petals. Now, if you wanted to put yellow stamens on there, you can do that. This one is just going to be one of the peonies that has the ball around, you know, like the, the petals around a ball that's still kind of closed so you don't see any stamens. Now I am going to take some vodka, and you can use water if you don't want to use the alcohol. I use vodka because it evaporates pretty quickly, and it makes the wafer paper really sticky. The glycerin and water doesn't make it as sticky. Um, it, it kind of softens it. But if you really want this, the wafer paper to stick to itself, you need to use the vodka because the glycerin and water is good to use if you want to reposition things, but the vodka will really hold it. Will really hold it. So now I've got the ball with the top covered. I'm going to take the smallest petals and I'm actually going to put them on with the color facing out. Now these are printed wafer paper petals, so see on the back side they are white. They're not printed. But I'm going to put the vodka, and I'm using vodka for this because I don't need it to be flexible. I just need it to cover up the center. I'm painting the back that's unprinted with the vodka and I'm putting it on the ball and I have to keep moving it over here. Um, and I'm just covering up that top and making it look like there's the first layer of petals that's gonna be opening. And because it's so tight on this ball center, it's not gonna show the white part, the unprinted part of the petals so much. And as we get toward the edge, it will show it, but it's really not that noticeable unless you get really, you know, real up close and look at it. So I, I'm not worried about that. If I wanted to make a super realistic peony, then I would have to have the color on both sides. And I have done that with some that has the a looser center. And I will put a picture of that on here so you can see. When I do that, I just put two of the petals together so that they're colored on both sides. But then you need to use more of them. Okay, so these are the two extra ones, and I'm just going to stick them on here just to use them up. And there are so many petals on real peonies, you don't need to be too precise about it, but you do just kind of have to make sure that you're not making it lopsided. So just keep an eye on that. Now, the next larger size, they're still small, but they're a little bit bigger than the smallest ones. I'm going to do another layer, and I'm going to make sure that the tip of the petal is kind of right toward the top, like kind of even with the first layer maybe a little bit shorter and I am using vodka again for this because I want them to really stick and they don't really need to be flexible. This is the center and it's a tight flower so you don't really need it to be flexible and, and poofy. Now if you're making a wired peony again this is a different procedure but this is just a you know it, it's not well it is it is wired but I'm not wiring the petals. You can wire the petals if you want. The way that I make peonies is really for use on cakes. And I make them so that the backs are flatter because when you're doing a wedding cake and you put a flower on it, you want it to fit up against the cake. And a lot of times people make peonies that are so round that when you put them on a cake, it doesn't fit. So I, I tend to make things in the way that they can be used on a cake because I did cakes for 20 years. So that's just how I make them. 
Okay, so I'm just basically adding the petals and going around. I'm trying to keep it about at the same level as the first layer here, maybe just a little bit lower. Because if you think about it, the petals on a flower open up and kind of fall back from the center. So the outer petals are generally a little bit lower than the inside. So you have to just kind of give it an eyeball and make sure that it's about the right place you want it. And see, this is just a little bit off. So I'm just going to add some more petals. I'm just going to keep going around, I think. Now, see, if you put the white on the outside like this, you can see it. So at this point, we're still on the inside of the, we're still kind of like a tight ball of petals. So you still want to put the colored part facing out. And we are going to switch that up for the next layer. But for these smaller petals, just do the whole thing with the colored side facing out because that's how, you know, that's people are going to see the color on the outside. And like I said, if they see the unpainted, like the un unprinted section, it doesn't, it's really not that noticeable. All right, so I think I am going to speed this up at some, oh, there we go. I know I sped it up at some point. And this is just, you know, painting with the vodka, going around and pressing it onto the center of the flower. There's really nothing tricky. You don't want to use too much liquid, whether you're using vodka or water, you don't want to use too much. But you need to have enough that it makes it sticky. And just make sure as you're going around that you keep it even. All right, now I finished up those petals. And now we're going to move on to the outside layers. And there's three layers for these. For this, I'm using glycerin and water. And I'm going to put a little bit in this container over here. And I'm going to add a little bit of vodka to that to dilute it. Because when I use the glycerin and water, it's a one-to-one -one mix. And it's very strong. So the glycerin absorbs into the wafer paper. And it really softens it up a lot. And it will dry out, but it stays very flexible. So now the way that I do this, this is how I do it. I just do the tips because these are pre-printed petals. It has the details on them and you don't really need to vein it. So I'm, I'm going to show you how this would look if it was veined, but that's how you, that's how you want to do it. Okay, now I'm going to get the veiner. If you're going to vein the petals, if this was not a printed paper, you're just going to put the glycerin on the whole back. And you really don't want to put too much of it on there. And then press it gently, gently, because it'll tear. And it gives it a little bit of shape. But you see, it's not, it's not really enough to worry about. And it makes the paper very floppy because the glycerin soaks into it. And to me, it's not worth the effort. And it's not worth the extra time. And I can put a paper flower together very quickly using these pre-printed petals. If I was making a... A solid color I might take the time to vein it but if you're going to do that you just need a little bit of glycerin in the water or vodka because a lot of glycerin will soak in and it'll make it very soft all right so you put it on the edge I think I, I will show you the next one because I was talking all right but you basically put the glycerin mixture on the back unprinted side kind of fold the yeah kind of fold it over like that to fold the, the uh, petal. And then you glue the colored side to the body of the flower. Okay, so this is, there's the colored side. This is the unprinted side. Put the glycerin on the unprinted side. You're gonna fold it back a little bit more. Don't put very much on here. The glycerin is very strong and it'll absorb into the wafer paper, especially if it's really humid. You don't really need that much. If the air is drier, you can use a little bit more. You glue the colored side to the ball because at this point, the layer of petals is going to fall away from the flower. And so you're going to see the color on the outside, like when you're looking at it. So let's speed this up. This is basically you're going to do this for all the petals. Now, the advantage of using glycerin and vodka mixed to glue them on is that you might be able to reposition them a little bit better but I'll show you what I'm going to do with the vodka a little bit later to make sure that they're all glued on. Because sometimes the glycerin stays soft and it'll kind of peel the, the petals off of the wafer paper flower. Okay, so just go all the way around. And you see how I've done the petals ahead of time and just put them down to dry. You can do that. Just keep going around. And again, if you get to the end and you have a couple extra petals left over and you've made it all the way around the circle, just try to find some spaces that are kind of 
you know, empty and you need to fill them in a little bit, but try to use all the petals for the best effect because peonies have a lot of petals. There are tons of petals on them, on a real one. Okay, so now we've got this back and I think what I'm gonna do here, I'm trying to remember what I did. I think that I used the vodka. No, nope, not yet. All right, so now this is the, <laughs> this is the next layer. Um, a little more glycerin and water, and we're going to dilute that with the vodka because I don't want it to be so glycerin-y. I mean, I use a lot of glycerin in my conditioner, and a little goes a long way, and you can dilute it like that. Same thing with this, and I, I think I do speed this up because you know you guys don't need to sit and watch me do this. That's basically it. You paint the back of the petal, and that way it won't smear the ink, and you want it to kind of curve in the direction that you are painting. And just put them down on the table to dry. You basically want them to set up just a little bit and give the glycerin a chance to soak into the paper and do not put that much. I mean, sometimes it's a good idea to have a paper towel and just kind of pat the paintbrush on it before you paint the wafer paper. All right, so I've done all the petals. Now I'm gonna use the glycerin. I think I start using the vodka at some point. At this point, you can start using the vodka, but I'll show you what I'm gonna do with the vodka. Like I said, the, the benefit of using the glycerin with the vodka is that it allows you to kind of pull the paper off and reposition the petals a little bit if you want to move it around. But, you know, you still want it to stick. So in just a minute, I will show you how I get that done, but we're gonna put all the petals on it first to make sure they're in the right place. Now you see how this peony is not that fat? It's like it's a, not a big fat round peony. And that's so that it will fit on the cake. And you can take these and stick them directly against the side of the cake and it won't be a big round ball sticking out of the cake because that just looks weird. And the, the good thing about using wafer paper with these is that it's so light, you can stick it to the side of the cake, whereas gum paste might be so heavy, it'll pull the cake and rip it, but wafer paper won't do that. So that's a good reason to use wafer paper instead of gum paste if you're making flowers with a lot of petals. All right, so I've sped this up. And again, we're just going around. Now be careful of your thumb in the middle of the flower. See how my thumb is there? And what you might wanna do is take a T pin, which if you sew, it's one of those pins with a little flat thing on the top and push that into the ball, not into the wafer paper, but into the ball and um, use that to rest your thumb on. Okay, now I'm taking the vodka. This is what I was talking about. And I'm just painting the back Basically what this does is it will glue those petals on and you're basically just making sure that you're melding all of it together in the back, okay? And I only have one of these petals left, so I'm just gonna try to find a spot that looks like it will go. I can see exactly where I would put it. Let's see if I'm right. That's where, that's where I would do it. No, see, yeah, that's where I would do it. So just look for a spot that looks like it's kind of, like has a gap or needs a little extra filler and just do that there. Now you're gonna dry this flower upside down. So doing it like that isn't gonna hurt because if, if you melt the petals like that, it will flop back. Like if you turn it upside, if you turn it right side up, but see how I have it upside down? Okay, so we're going through the last layer. And I think that this last layer only has 10 of the largest petals. So for this layer, you can try to do it just every single one. Yeah, I'm counting it. Try to do them so that every um, petal just has like one row. You just have one row of all 10. And again, if you end up with extras, then just fill it in. But for, for only 10 petals in the largest row, you can probably make one row all the way around and then it'll be even and it won't look like you have extra petals left over. So that's basically how to do this. This set comes in different colors. I like this purple color a lot. And because it's got the, I, I took photographs of a real peony and that's how I got the petals to do. But because it looks like that, you don't have to vein it. And there you go. So I'll post the blog article below and you can go read that. And I will talk to you guys later.